New York City restaurants try to stay afloat with outdoor dining. There is increased focus on keeping patrons safe. And part of the solution is trying to limit the number of cars driving by. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes live in Queens with what is being done. Andrea. Well, Christina Maurice, the city transportation commissioner, visited here in Forest Hills to tout the expansion of the city's open streets program, closing down more streets on more days to cars to make room for restaurants. They have no choice right now but to serve diners on the sidewalk or in the street, literally next to moving traffic, and some question the safety in that. They've quickly become the latest staple on New York City streets. Take a drive up Amsterdam Avenue on the Upper West Side and you'll see plenty. Outdoor dining pods in the street, all while traffic rumbles past. From here to Forest Hills, Queens, many diners say they feel safe, even though they could reach out and touch traffic. I'm a New Yorker. We're tough. But others, like here in Park Slope, Brooklyn, are not so sure about eating right next to passing trucks. I do remember initially Especially when these uh, sort of platforms began getting built, thinking, wow, it's just a matter of time before somebody has an accident. The city started allowing outdoor street seating in June to help struggling restaurants since indoor dining has been banned because of the pandemic. While the program has been very popular, there have been some accidents. A car smashed into the outdoor seating at Cafe Alula in Greenpoint, Brooklyn last month, leaving one woman hurt. A few days earlier on the Upper East Side, another car hit outdoor seating. Luckily, no one was injured. How concerned are you about the safety of eating outdoors? We have visited every restaurant pretty much, you know, helped instruct them on how to make the setup strong. You know, we've put out a whole education campaign for drivers. As these restaurants are out here occupying the curb lane, you got to drive safely around them. And the restaurants have to follow our guidelines to make sure the structures are sturdy. The City Transportation Commissioner says they've inspected some 20,000 restaurants and put out this YouTube video showing their guidelines. That includes, in part, constructing a U-shaped structure with reflectors to protect diners. And the open streets expansion will include 70th Road, where we're standing now. Selected corridors across the five boroughs will now be allowed to open their streets, close them to cars, open them to restaurants on selected weekdays in addition to weekends. Again, all to make more room for these restaurants who are really struggling right now. Reporting live in Forest Hills, Queens, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. All right, Andrea, thank you.